john at rte.ie when we heard the news this morning that Cha and Maya are to be given the freedom of Cork, we all asked, didn't they get that years ago? Cha and Maya, or Frank Duggan and Michael Toomey, good morning. Uh, good morning to you, Miriam. <laughs> Bonjour, Miriam. Bonjour, because you're in France, aren't you, Frank? Je suis en France. Oh, très bien. Uh, la Rochelle, avec mes deux amis, Hilary et Ron. Et je t'envoie uh, nos meilleurs de, de la France. So Miriam like, take absolutely no notice of him. He's always using language like that. Absolutely. Listen, are you I'm, delighted? I'm, Michael, I'm are you delighted? Inarticulate, I'm inarticulate in two languages. No, you're great. Michael, first of all, are you delighted? <laughs> oh, sure, we're absolutely thrilled. My goodness, is the highest honour that the city can pay you, you know. And to say we're flabbergasted would be putting it mildly. But, of course, a special bonus, I think, is the fact that we're sharing the honour with a very good uh, colleague of ours, Bill O'Connell. And uh, we've, we've worked with Billa so many years and that the three of us should be uh, getting the honour is just absolutely amazing. And listen, what are the privileges, Frank? I gather you can um, keep your cattle in Bishop Lisi Park, is that correct? That is well, I've been, Because I've been doing that now for some time, <laughs> but now I can do it officially. But I think the biggest advantage is that we can uh, park our ass and carts in any part of the city at any time. Isn't that great to know? It is. It is absolutely wonderful. Is it true, actually, though, you can actually, though, park free anywhere now? <laughs> Wouldn't that be well, a no, lovely, we're, Miriam? We're going, we're going to put that to the test very shortly. I doubt it. <laughs> we'll put it to the test very shortly. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, people often get these honours and sometimes, you know, they don't mean that much. Does it mean a lot to both of you? Oh, yes, my goodness. As I said, you know, it's the biggest honour one can receive, the biggest tribute that can be paid to one. And when you look at the list of persons who have received the freedom of the city in Cork, like President Kennedy and Irish presidents and so on, it's just an amazing, an amazing honour. And we're flabbergasted, absolutely. Do you know each other, like, forever, the pair of you? Well, well he's much older than I am. You know? <laughs> I'm Obviously. a child prodigy. I Don't believe a prodigy. word he tells you. Uh, we've been together for 43 years. Wow. And uh, that's a long time. And we officially retired last year. And uh, the Lord Mayor at that time very kindly gave us a civic reception in the City Hall, which we thought was a fantastic thing to happen. I mean, you couldn't have asked for more. And now this crowns it all. But, of course, it's not just Chan Mai, of course, because both of us have been involved in entertainment in Cork for a considerable length of time in many ways. Personally, I'm involved as both as an actor and as a theatre director, and I'm involved as a, an adjudicator in the amateur drama circuit, so on, you know? So Chan Mai would only be a sort of a part of the thing. But I can tell you the two characters, Chan and I, would be absolutely thrilled to get the <laughs> honour. You can imagine them sitting down in, their, in the pub with their pints and their caps pulled down discussing it, you know. How did I, you... heard, Go on. I heard there's a rumour they're going to turn up to the City Hall. I can't vote for that now. <laughs> oh God, I hope they don't. Why <laughs> did you call yourselves Cha and Maya? How did that come about? That's well, a good question. Um, like with the benefit of hindsight, Maya was not a good name because Maya obviously is the latter half of Jeremiah, mm. but outside Coxeth in County is virtually unknown. My father's name, a great name. Really? With Jeremiah. Yeah. Go on. Well, there was a famous footballer in Cork as well, Maya Dennehy, Maya Dennehy, who was a very popular footballer here for many years. The commentators you saw was calling Mia Dennehy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's nothing to what they've called us sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, Cha is, uh, is the first half of Charles, Charlie. Yeah, of course. But how much and how important do you think the, co- the city of Cork is to your success? I mean, if Cha and Maya had, you know, carried themselves out in Dublin, would they be the same? Well, let me put it this way. I think the, the Cork accent, such as it is, mm. has been a great bonus for us. You know, it's the butt of humour all over the country. And uh, it, it has helped us immeasurably. But um, as you say, Miriam, Cork is a very important place. The real capital, obviously. But we of don't course. boast about that. Of course. We don't boast about that. Never did. Have, have you, I know you're in France at the moment, Frank, but you both live in Cork. Yes, yes. And, and we have in, 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 in the border. Within sure. about a half a mileage of, of each other. Yeah. Okay, give me the ad for why Cork truly is the capital of Ireland. Michael first. Well, I mean, first of all, think of the people. I mean, there's nobody to compare. Cork people are running the country. Everywhere you go, 
everywhere you go, there are Cork people, and they're running the place. So, I mean, obviously, if the people are running the country, the place, the place they come from must be the capital. It's as simple as that. Frank? Well, I think it is our modesty. Really, you know, our modesty. Because when it comes to modesty and humility, we beat all the others hands down. Correct. Absolutely. Now, listen to me, not to take away from your honour, but there's some councillors in the paper today saying, not that you shouldn't get it, but that Cork is handing out too many of these. Too many of the freedoms of Cork to people. Well, well I, no. I, I don't... I, yes, uh, I mean, that, of course, is, is, is uh, the council's opinion, and... Uh, I'm sure he's good grounds for it. But uh, I don't know whether that's true or not, in that the number of persons who have received the honour since the records have been kept, I think since something like 1887 or something, is not that many, you know? Mm. I don't think there's even one a year or less than one a year, I'm sure, much less. Well, this encourage- I think that the, the thing is that this is the first time, and I can understand... Uh, why they would say this. This is the first time that three people have been honoured yeah, uh, at the yeah. one time, you see? Mm. That's true. The maximum, I think, ever before was two. I think it was Roy Keane and Sonia O'Sullivan. I think they're worried that they might get a football team and decide to give the freedom to all of everyone on the team. Yeah, well, well no, we, have a, we do have a football team, the Chal My 11. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you could include all those as well. <laughs> oh, we could, we could, we could. N- now listen, will this inspire you to get out of your retirement or are you retired? Well, well, no, yeah. normally you see, uh, Matron is that he has to be home by five o'clock. <laughs> so, you know, that prohibits us from doing cabaret. <laughs> <laughs> Well, look, I wish you both the very best of luck and congratulations, Michael and Frank. And thanks for talking to me this morning. It was very good, Miriam, Miriam, and we appreciate it very much. Not at all. Have a lovely day celebrating. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Okay, bye. John at rte.ie.